Hello, my name is Moose A. Moose, and since I have no ideas for videos at the moment, I thought I'd tell you about the time I got banned from Twitter. This was back when I still had my precious hard-earned cash. It all began when I updated Twitter. I was baffled to see that it changed to X believe it or not. Everyone else was just as confused and pissed off as I was. Rather than make a red tweet about it, I thought I'd complain to that mammal fucker Elon Musk. This is what I said to him. Why the f*** would you rename Twitter X? That's the most generic name I have ever heard. A lot of companies have the name X. In my opinion, you should have renamed it. Shitter, because this website is full of shit. To which he replied, don't chip shame me. I have a fetish for the letter X and you better be okay with it. It is so sexy, because it is the last letter of the word, sex. Now stop questioning my authority and buy more Teslas, build my rockets, and post more why my dolphin not working well means. Then out of nowhere a guy named Alan Smythe he replied with, Stop being a spoiled brat and do what that moose guy says. While you're at it, you should apologize for banning my original account for no reason other than you hate me. I had to make a new account under a different username because of you. I was about to reply back, but some person showed up and said, Hey guys! Come here! And I want to say that Daffy Duck is a rotten turd who does not deserve to become president. Realizing his statement was pointless, I quickly jotted back to Moosey with the following. I'll have you know that I am a skilled hacker, and because you refused to change it back, I'm going to hack your website so it will read shitter. That's when all hell broke loose. Hello, my name is Oswald the Cartabus. Does Instagram give you a hard time? Does Mark Zuckerberg need to get his ass out of his ass? Did you ever get your posts reported when you uploaded gay images or videos? Does Instagram ban you for saying dumb ass shit that is a joke and should not be taken seriously? Does Instagram ban you from talking to your butt buddies? Well I have news for you. From the developers behind Fagfoot comes Haha comes Instagay, the best free to use alternative to Instagram and is less authoritarian in its rules. If you have gay pornos or sexy shit you want to share, we say, post that sexy shit. You can post anything your heart desires, provided it is homosexual. Examples include fan fictions, your sex toy collection, sexy stories of your homosexual encounters, videos of you doing a pumpkin, and a whole lot more. But ha ha ha, but, if you are bisexual, you will only post about your sexy male encounters, otherwise you will be charged 69 dotas, which once we get them, we stick them in Clifford's ass. Posting anything involving women is forbidden. Furthermore, if you are Moose Moose, Pube Muppet, or any member of the pubic family, you are not allowed on the site. It is well known that if any one of those said people try to make an account for Instagate, they will be redirected to Daisy's lesbian site called Instapus, where they will be forced to join there. Just listen to what these satisfied users have to say. Damn it, Oswald. I told you I don't want to be part of your stupid ass commercial. Hello, my name is Big Snail and I love Instagay really hard. Before Instagay, I would get repeatedly flagged for posting my sexy pictures, videos, etc. And I even got blocked from my account for posting a video of me talking about Gordon the Garden Gnome and his rock hard get it on. This made it hard ha 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 hard for me to communicate with me fellow bot buddy boys. But with Instagay, all those problems are non-existent, and I have more freedom to post any sexy shit I please without Mark Zuckerberg fucking me over every second he can. Hello my name is Sammy the Snake and I am a really gay snake, and I love Instagay. It's the best place to meet, flirt with, and fuck other gay snakes, and besides that, you can post anything you like without the Instagram Nazis coming and coming after you. With Instagay I can post sexy songs and films, provided that my sexy gay crush, Shovel from Blue's Clues, sees them. Instagay is the holy grail of social media. Hello my name is Big Bird and being a really gay bird, I use Instagay for posting about my sexy many encounters with my good man Snuffaloo but it's better known as Snuffy and we are fans of Instagay. We often post our gay thoughts, pornos, and blogs on there. We even chat with our other butt buddy boys right here on Sesame Street including but not limited to Ernie, Bert, Elmo, Cookie Monster, Kermit, Telly Monster, and many many other homosexuals this side of the internet. 
now I will let Snuffy tell you how much he loves Instagay. Hello, my name is Snuffy, and like my good man Big Bird, I often use Instagay for posting my gay thoughts, pornos, and any other gay encounters, and I can easily communicate with the other toilet slaves I can find online like Manny the Mammoth, because I am a furry fuzzy guy with a really long nose penis, and I like to rape and suspect men with it like ha 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 Hello, my name is Dancing Penguin and on Instagram, no men were interested in my gay stuff, only women, and that made my PP Penguin penis hide inside my bum bum. However, with Instagay, I can meet up with the hottest, sexiest, and most handsome homosexual penguins everywhere worldwide. I give it 7 out of 2 pizzas. Oh yeah, one more thing. Have you saved those penguins yet? You heard it here first. Is the swellest sexiest gayest social media site. And you'll love it. If you are a butt buddy boy, what are waiting for? Forget Mark Zuckerberg. Come on and join today. Instagay. From Fagbook. And that is how I got banned from Twitter. Fuck that boosty woosty poosty husky motherfucker. He can go to space and have his head explode for all I care. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Did my fucking video just get interrupted by Oswald and his Marty Lunch? What the hell's that eating shit for brains thought it would be a good idea to have them interrupt me like that? Next thing you know they'll cut me off as soon, as I am just getting into my rent and- Sorry folks, 